Hi everyone, this is Asus Zen Wi-Fi AX Series Model XT8 and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up mesh Wi-Fi network on this system. Let's get into it. First, let's talk about physical connections. I've got a pack of two Asus Zen units and my modem on the table. And they say this unit is main. They put a sticker on it which says, hi, I am main unit, start with me. But actually, these two units are absolutely equal and you can use each of them uh, either as main rotor or as mesh repeater. They just put this sticker to not confuse unexperienced users, like which one to use where. But let's do like they say, let it be the main rotor, let it be the repeater. And the first thing you need to do is connect your main rotor to your main internet source. If this is a modem, connect to a modem. If you don't have a modem, uh, I suppose you need to connect to um, a LAN socket in the wall. But in this case, contact your internet provider um, to ask if you need some special settings or maybe help of their specialist to set up your router. Let's take a look at the back panel. We have four Ethernet ports over here and this one blue labeled one is the input. It supports 2.5 and 1 gigabit speed and you need to plug in Ethernet cable into this port and the other end of this cable plug into your internet source like this. Of course, there is an option to not connect your main Zen unit to your internet source. You can connect it to your existing router and set up as an access point. But in this case, make sure your router is better than Asus Zen system, because there is no point to connect faster router as an access point for a weaker one. For this example, I suppose you want to replace your old rotor with Asus Zen mesh system, so let's connect like this, your modem and next your main Zen unit. Once the main unit is set up, it automatically detects the secondary units and adds them to your mesh system. You can connect up to nine units together and you even can combine ASUS Zen units of different models. And moreover, you can add another ASUS rotors that support AI mesh system and make everything work together, creating seamless uh, mesh network throughout your house. And there are two types of backhaul, in other words, the way how they talk to each other, and this is wireless and wired backhaul. When they connect it wirelessly, they try to reach out the nearest neighbor. So let's say your main rotor is in your living room, uh, the secondary unit is somewhere in the bedroom, and you have one more Wi-Fi rotor uh, in a hallway. So uh, this rotor gets the signal from the main rotor, it jumps one time. And this rotor, uh, actually it can get the signal from the main rotor, but it has a neighbor, so it will try to reach the best signal. And the signal to this rotor jumps two times, one and two. And more jumps, the Wi-Fi signal needs to reach your unit, the weaker the signal is. So the best signal is over here, uh, here the signal is weaker and the speed is lower and uh, the worst situation is on the third rotor. So with a wireless setup you pretty much want to think about the configuration to make each unit most likely take a signal from your main rotor, something like this. So as you can see, you can create a lot of configurations, you can combine different backhauls, wired and wireless. For example, let's disconnect this guy and it will talk wirelessly with the nearest neighbor and they are uh, talking we are wired together. Uh, that's pretty it. Let's proceed to set up your network. So if you're using a wireless backhaul, place the devices within 50 feet uh, from each other, but uh, 30 to 40 feet is recommended, especially if you have uh, the obstacles between the devices, between the units, and then you have these adapters with detachable plugs, so you need to glide the plug on an adapter, then plug, plug into a power socket on your device, and plug in the other end to a power outlet, and repeat the same for all units in your system. 
While you're waiting for that, install Asus Rotor application on your smartphone. It's available both for iOS and Android devices. Open this application. Tap on Setup on the home screen. Select Asus Zen Wi-Fi series. Scroll down and select your AX model. And tap on Enable Camera and Scan. And scan the QR code on the bottom of your device or on this sticker. Next, join to ASUS network. Once your device found, tap on Get Started. If you have some special requirements from your ISP, check this checkbox and select the requirement. If not, just tap on Next and create your Wi-Fi network name. If you're replacing your old router, you can use the same name as your previous Wi-Fi network so that all your devices will be connected automatically. I mean, same network name and same password. So name your network. Create Wi-Fi password. Done. Next, you are suggested to create stronger password, but let's ignore this for this example. Uh, now you have to create your admin username and password to manage your device from web interface and for, from another smartphone. So let's create username, let it be admin and password. You have to follow these instructions to create your password. Next, confirm your password in this field. Done and next. And it's setting up your network. Now Asus Router wants to join your new Wi-Fi network. Allow this. If you don't want to wait for network optimization, you can skip scanning node and run this process later. Hit yes. Here is your summary, your Wi-Fi network name and password, your administrator username and password. Uh, so just tap on finish. You can enable or cancel notifications, personally I don't need it, and enable a remote connection if you have Asus Cloud account, but let's skip this for now. And here is your welcome screen, this is your network configuration, uh, don't allow notifications. Uh, as you can see, you connect it to the internet and the secondary unit is connected to your main router. You can tap on any unit and look to which port connected the secondary unit. To, you can see the network information over here. You can tap here to reboot device, reset to factory default or unlink this device with your phone. You can optimize network, control quality of service and so on. A lot of settings with this in this application and this is not a topic of this video. Now your system is up and running and I hope this video was helpful. If yes, consider to subscribe to our channel, hit the like button to support us. Any questions, comment below and be awesome. Bye guys.